Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all skate games for the 360 and PS3. The skate series is awesome, but don't do the mistake I did and play them backwards. See, I started with skate 3, then played skate 2 and then 1. And playing them like this obviously feels like the game suffered some serious downgrades. That's the disadvantage of playing games backwards. Ok, enough history, let's get into a brief presentation of the games. The Skate franchise is way different than any Tony Hawk game. I am comparing it with Tony Hawk because the franchise was for many years the king when it came to talking about skating games. In Skate you have flick mechanics, meaning that you do tricks by flicking your joystick and this leads to a more realistic feeling. Sure, the impossible tricks in Tony Hawk still remain cool, but the more realistic controls in Skate are cool too. And even if you can compare them, it's a matter of tastes which one you like most. I love both control schemes, the one from Tony Hawk and the one in Skate. In Skate 1, you are the skater that gets hit by a bus and then gets to the hospital. From here you get a facelift or become some indestructible experiment or something, I don't know what the doctor does there, and get to create your own character. And during gameplay you'll see that Skate is a more laid back game. You don't attach to a pooping elephant like in Tony Hawk, but the challenges are more simple. You just do stuff like tricks for magazines and then after the photo shoots you get into the X games. But even if the game sounds simple, it's fun. The trick system is nicely done, it's really comfortable to do tricks and it's really comfortable to just skate around. The map is gigantic and the graphics look, in my opinion, better than in Skate 2. In Skate 2 you get out of prison and just start to skate. Here too the game finishes after you become Skate X champion. In Skate 2, in character creation you can now be a female too. You get more options, you have the ability to move objects on the map, which is useful in challenges and in free skate. I mean, you can just put a ramp and get more air and, do, and get higher scores by jumping off the ramp. Also now you can get off your board and run away. And then you get your board back using the force. And board customization is better, allowing you to import board designs. The challenges you get are more diverse and the game feels really, really good. Way better than Skate 1. And Skate 3 is a marvel. The map is bigger, the walking animations are faster, you also get a park builder option, which does exactly what the name says. The story is about you who falls down trying to jump the shark, recovering and then trying to be famous and sell boards. Also, one thing I love in the game are the Hall of Meat challenges, that are actual challenges, unlike Skate 1 where it's just a screen, no, in Skate 3 they are like photo shoots, they are events. And I like them more like this, but this is just a personal preference. Also with each game, they tweaked how the game behaves. Whether it is that you grind the rail easier or harder, or that you jump off a grind easier or harder, even the speed has changed from one game to the other. And in Skate 3, is, it, it, it's the best compromise. Skate 3 feels the best out of them all, out of all of the three games. Now, I will say that Skate 3 is the best, because if otherwise, playing them backwards wouldn't have made me feel that I... I'm downgrading the game, the, the more downgraded it felt. I mean, if I played Skate 3 and Skate 2 was better than 3, then I should have felt that. I should have felt that Skate 2 is better, but it was the opposite. Playing from Skate 3 to Skate 2, I felt the downgrade, and playing Skate 2 and then playing Skate 1, I felt again the downgrade because with each title they actually improved a lot of aspects in the games. But even if I praise Skate 3 to be the best, try out Skate 2 also and Skate 1. 
For example, Skate 2 feels very similar to Skate 3, even if, by the big improvements the game brought, it's a better game than Skate 2. J just try them out, all of them. But if you want the best experience, try out Skate 3. It's, it's amazing. But the other two, Skate 1 and 2, are amazing too. So, in conclusion, just try, try them all out. They, they are awesome. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and till we read thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.